Petman utilizes four different types of chains in their tubular drag conveyors. And within these four different types, we can also range in sizes. Our tubular drags range in size from 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, all the way up to 12 inch units. Um, the, first, the first chain type would be your round link chain. Uh, this is made up of a round bar bent and welded into a chain. It's typical that you would see in many different applications. Um, next would be our, our forged rivetless chain. The forged rivetless chain is made up of two side bars, a center link, and your hinge pin and of course your flighting material. The third type is an engineered sealed, sealed pin chain. Um, very similar makeup to the forged vertiless. Two sidebars, center link, your hinge pin. But in this case, we have um, washer material that goes in between here and it keeps the material that you're conveying out of that knuckle. The fourth type is what we call a uniseal. It is a, it is a sealed pin design except in this case, every other knuckle articulates 90 degrees from the one prior. It gives you the opportunity to uh, bend in uh, different ways in, in a short, short period of distance. Um, something we would try to manage in the uh, circuitry design um, because it, it, we don't really like to have a lot of bends in the circuit anyway. So if it's unavoidable, we have the, we have the solution for it. There's a number of factors that go into our determination of what chain type we should use. Um, for example, what is the material contact requirement? Does it need to be stainless steel? Can it be uh, a carbon material? What is the duty cycle of the conveyor? Is it running 24-7? Is it running for an hour at a time, uh, four times a day? What is the conveyor circuit? Uh, the conveyor circuit uh, will determine the chain pull. We'll run a chain pull calculation to determine how much force is needed to pull the chain and, and flights through that circuit. Um, but most importantly is the material. Is the material free-flowing? Is it sluggish? Uh, what's the material temp? Is it very, very hot? Is it abrasive? Is it non-abrasive? Does it have a tendency to stick to the materials? All these things uh, are factored in when we, when we decide what, what chain um, and flight assembly we should choose for your particular application. All of the chains have um, their advantages and disadvantages. Um, we like to work with uh, a couple more than the others. Um, here's a couple of reasons why. Um, on our round link chain, um, it works really well in, in light duty applications, short distances, very easy material, free flowing material. Um, the problem was that it has a tendency to twist and that twist can cause derailment or sprocket disengagement. It's also what's known as an open architecture chain. Um, what that means is, is that the material is, is always present within the knuckle of the links, um, which can cause a couple of different problems. If the material has a tendency to cake up um, on the chain, it can effectively shorten the chain, which could drive amp and increase uh, chain pull, which increases wear. Um, with our forged, Rivetless chain, also open architecture, so we can we can experience some of those same um, problems with, that we do with the round link chain, in that the material can get inside of those knuckles. If it's very abrasive, it might um, work as kind of like a sandpaper, and it'll accelerate that uh, wear. Um, it has very high strength to weight ratio, um, which is very nice. The long pitch enables the flights to stay very very rigid throughout the length of the, the tube, so we won't have any, any spilling of material from one flight to the next. Um, what that sort of looks like is uh, with a short pitch chain, you could have some spilling if there's a little bit of buildup there, and material will pass from one flight to the next. Um, the sealed pin chain kind of addresses all of those problems. Um, same, same thing with the long pitch, it stays very, very rigid within itself, keeps that that uh, abrasive material away from the knuckles of the, of the hinge pin. But probably the most important aspect of the sealed pin chain is that each, each individual link is essentially a master link. So the chain can be parted um, anywhere throughout the length and each individual piece can be serviced individually. Maintenance, maintenance crew really like that because uh, if something goes wrong, you need to replace the chain, you part it, 
the new chain and flight assembly can be attached and you can pull the new chain and flight assembly through um, using the old chain. Once you get to the once you get to the end of the line, you can you can again part you can assemble the chain and, and you're back to business. Another great advantage in, in both the forged rivetless chain and the sealed pin chain design is that the sprocket target is, is much longer and wider, uh, which means that the sprocket teeth themselves can be longer and wider, which has a greater uh, contact surface. And that greater contact surface means that it's less, less prone to wear, um, which gives it, uh, extends the life of, of uh, the <coughs>